<coughs> Sorry, because of this something happened. No, can you read for me? Luke chapter 5, verse 5. So I answered, Master, we've heard tired all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. Do you know, Peter said to Jesus, yeah, we work very hard all night, try to catch a fish. We haven't caught anything, which is nothing. But because you say so, I will let down the net. Peter, he denied three areas. Listen carefully. Denied three areas. Number one area, he denied. What he denied? Well, no, he stopped. Sorry. What he stopped? There's no fish in deep water. So he needed to deny. Can I say again? There's no fish in deep water. So he denied what? His knowledge. knowledge. His knowledge. And his emotion. He was tired. Because he tried to catch the fish. So tired and uh, exhausted. But deny, he denied his uh, emotion. He was a little angry. Why? Because of, he tried to catch fish. There's no fish in deep water. Jesus was a carpenter. Carpenter advised to fishermen. Yeah. And then fishermen is more better than the carpenter. Yeah? Mm. He can challenge Jesus. You know, I'm a professional fisherman. You carpenter, you used to be carpenter, you ask me to catch a fish in deep water is totally nonsense. His emotion is uh, upset. His will. His will, he doesn't want to throw his net in deep water. But what he did? He deny his what? Knowledge. He deny his emotion. He deny what? Will. Listen carefully. When Jesus died on the cross, uh, blood of Jesus come out from his body. From where? His forward, his wrists, his yeah. ankles and his wrists. That's right, yeah. In number one, his blood come out from his hair. Yeah, knowledge. Tongue. Which means you need to deny your knowledge. Deny your knowledge. And deny your emotion. Here. Water and blood come out from his chest. You need to deny your emotion. And deny, which means deny your emotion means deny your feeling. Yeah. So many people live by feeling. Yeah? If you're feeling upset and you're drinking and smoking, take a drug, it's not that enough. You understand? Do you know many, many people in the prison, why? Right? Because they cannot control their feeling. I'm upset by this man. I'm you know, terribly, terribly angry. They could not control their feeling and they kill somebody. Yeah. Yeah? <clears throat> Don't rely on your own your knowledge. Don't rely on your, your feeling. Even Peter, he denied his will. Will. You know, blood of Jesus come out from his hand and his feet, yeah? Blood. Can you see that? Deny your knowledge. knowledge deny your emotion. Deny your will. If you deny three areas, that means you deny yourself. And Peter, do you know what Peter say? Because you say so, I will let down the net. Can you say it to me? Because you say so. Because you say so. I will let down the net. I will let down the net. Because you say so means I will surrender my knowledge, my emotion, and my will to your word. Can I say again? When they, Paul or Peter received the word of Jesus, he said, Because you say so, I surrender my knowledge. I surrender my emotion, my feeling. I surrender my will to you. And then miracles come in. If you want to see the miracle in the Bible, every single miracle in the Bible, from Genesis to the book of Revelation, anybody who deny themselves, which deny their own knowledge and emotion and will, every, every miracle in the Bible, when they deny themselves, you can see the miracles. For example, you saw that Peter, he didn't see the miracle. Catch the plant fish. It's amazing. Yeah? Plenty. There is a fish in the deep water. He never ever seen in his life. His expectation to catch a fish in the shallow water. Do you know that God is working for your life, yeah? My life uh, beyond the, your expectation. Above the, your expectation. In the now in the rain, in the daytime, it's so heavy rain in the daytime today. What did you see? The sky. Clouds. You saw the cloud and the rain, yeah? yeah. 
But beyond the cloud, what is what is it? Sky, the stars, sky, the sun. Sunshine, sun. But people they don't see the sunshine. They only look. They look at the cloud. They look at the rain. They never know. There is a sunshine beyond the the cloud. Same thing. Jesus said to Peter, "Throw your net in deep water." When he finished the water, the the word, what's gonna happen? Who listen? To, who listen to the word of Jesus? Uh, no, no, fish, fish. Fishy spoke to each other. Say of the word, the creator of the whole universe is saying, "Fish is in deep water. Let us go. Every fish go swim." Go to the deep water, and then they go inside the net. Why? Because of what Jesus said. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When Jesus says something, the whole world is submit. Fish submit. Have you heard about uh, the Naaman? No. Have you heard Naaman? He has a leprosy. You know Naaman? Nama, he has a leprosy. Have you seen the leprosy, the sickness? All the boils. <coughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Oh. it's terrible. It's a ball is gone yeah, be, yeah. without the feeling. Terrible. Yeah. This man, Nama, he was a very famous uh, minister of defense in Syria. Now nah, in Syria, and uh, he's a famous man. But unfortunately, he has a leprosy. And he heard about that. He heard about that. There is a prophet in Israel. What is his name? Jesus. No, in Old Testament. Moses. Moses. Elijah. Elijah. Yeah. Elijah. You know, Elijah. He went to heaven without the death. How many people went to heaven without the death? Three. Uh, no, no, three. Noah. Noah. Oh, no, 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 no. Enoch, 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 Enoch and Elijah too. Eh? And Jesus. Jesus, he experienced death. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, two people never experience of death in this world, Enoch and Elijah. Elijah. And when before Elijah went to heaven, and Elijah asked Elijah, "Can you give me double blessing?" How many miracles by Elijah? <coughs> Have you heard about that? Seven. Seven. Elijah, how many? Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen miracles. And one of the miracles is this is here. You know, Naaman he came to Israel to see this man, Prophet Elijah, and with all the gifts. <coughs> Because we see this. You know what Elijah said to him? Go to the river Jordan and jump in there. For how many times? Forty nine. No. Seven times. Seven times. You jump in there, you'll be healed like a baby skin. And do you know what what Naaman said? <coughs> Look at the Naaman's talk. You can see how you deny. Naaman said to himself, and he speak like this. I thought his I thought his knowledge. I thought Damascus river is much much clean than Jordan river. Jordan river is still very dirty. Always you know, like the yellow you know, yellow color, dirty. But do you know this man? Oh, go to the dirty water, Jordan River. Even not one time. How many times? Seven times. Seven times. His knowledge, not very happy. His emotion. He come from long journey, Syria to Jerusalem. You know what happened? Even Elijah, he didn't come out from his room. He sent a message to the his uh, servant, and then you know he was. Uh, This man uh, Nama, he was look like not respectable. Yeah, upset. And upset, angry. The Bible say he was angry. He changed his direction. He told her to go back to home, Syria. Can you see that in the beginning he he didn't change his what? His heart. His knowledge and his emotion. Emotion and his will. Will. He changed the direction by horse. <coughs> But one of the servant say to Nama, Father. Somebody, father, now nah, man, listen. Even if this man lies, are asking you more difficult things, you should obey. Do you? 
Tin Eliza give him the message, not from Eliza, from God give a message. The revelation of God. What Naaman did? Naaman changes direction. He changes mind. He denies his mind. He denies his knowledge. He denies what? His emotion. In his feeling. He denies what? His will. His will. He went to Jordan River. But how many times he jumped in there? Seven times. Seven times. Not once and two. Six times jump in there, still sick. Seven times he jump in there, come up, what happened? Gone. All the pressure gone. The Bible says his skin become like the baby skin. Beautiful, clean. Wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. How? When Nama deny himself. Deny to the area. What you deny? So your I'm knowledge feelings. and your your feeling and your well, well. fear. If you deny this three area, you will prosper every, every time. You know, uh, for me, even I made some plan. When God said to me something, I need to obey. It's very hard sometimes because uh, even my flesh is so strong. Obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obey. How? That is why this man Peter said, because you say so. Because your word is more powerful than my knowledge, my emotion, and my will. I obey. Uh, every, every miracle in the Bible, if you deny yourself, and then uh, you can see the miracles of the Lord. God speak to me, even today. Today, I, I, I met one guy. He, I gave him this plastic bag, yeah? This guy, he bought the eight, eight, for the bag. You know what he did? He has got a phobia. He put the glove in the, the, the shop. Everything. If you take the something and using them. And I told him, you need to deny yourself. I pray for deliverance. If I come here around the one and a half an hour, I pray for deliverance. That is why I collect it. Eight of them. He set free from all the darkness. He denies his what? His knowledge. He denies his emotion. And he denies his will. And he gave me. And I gave you four, four, four things. You know, how God is working in your life, you have to deny your knowledge, deny your emotion, okay? deny your will. If you just deny three areas, you will be prosper. I give the final testimony and finish. And I think I share with you about uh, about the airport, uh, airplane. I was preaching in the airplane. Did I speak? I was actually uh, many, many years ago, 12 of our team to go to Africa. And then the captain announced it, oh, because of something, the engine, whatever, we need to check it, 40 minutes delay. When I heard, okay, I closed my eyes, I was praying, gently. People, they close their eyes, people, they relax, and people, they need a, a newspaper, whatever. But I heard the voice of God. Do you know what God spoke to me? God spoke to me very clearly, can you share the word of the Lord? Inside the airplane, it's a Boeing 747, it's a big airplane, over 350 more passengers. God spoke to me, can you share the word of the Lord? You know what I say? Don't you know that you are inside the airplane? <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, I can't. I was preaching everywhere, I was preaching in the way, in the, even in the toilet. I was preaching in the double deck, I was preaching in the tube and underground, I was preaching in bus stop, everywhere I was preaching. But God spoke to me, Jesus spoke to me, can you share the word of the Lord in this airplane? And I said, no, this, I don't think so. My knowledge, I say no. Even my emotion, say no. Because it's very shame. I can preach in the first world, but in the inside airplane, I don't. My will, no, I don't understand it. I deny. I deny, no, thank you. I heard the voice of God again. Not here, it's second time. Can you share the word of the Lord? You know what I said? No, not for me. I deny. Instead of I deny myself, I deny the word of Jesus. <clears throat> you know what I did? When I heard the, the voice of Jesus, third time, Third time I received the voice of God. Can you do it? Suddenly I cry. Why? 
because I knew them. I was so disobedient. I denied almost three times, like Peter denied Jesus three times. Yeah. I denied two times, third times, I will do it. <laughs> but I will do it more joyfully, but I just do it. Do you think uh, when God asked Abraham, bring your son, and, uh, bring, son bring your son Isaac and the burnt offering, do you think Abraham so happy? No. Do you think uh, Abraham burnt offering, Abraham needed to kill his son Isaac by, by nice. knife? It's very, very hard. But Abraham obey. Abraham obey. Just obey. Same feeling. God, I will do it. But because you say so, look, this man, Peter said, you be, but because you say so, I will let down the land. Same thing. I deny what? My knowledge and my emotion and my will. <clears throat> I wear the suit at the time. You know, there is uh, in the economic clouds, uh, there's a big TV like this. I stand in front of a people with the Bible, I say, you know what I say? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> when I say, excuse me, sir, people, people look at me with strange eyes. Some people look at the Bible, put a glass like this down and look at me. Some people relax like this and like this. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Everybody uncomfortable. Who is the most uncomfortable? Yeah. Me. Because what? I deny myself. Oh, I say I share for around five minutes. Before I share the five minutes, I ask our team to give the leaflet. Over 300 people, you know, collect the leaflets. Many people receive the leaflet and give the leaflet. Inside the leaflet. Because we are children of the team. And I was preaching. Do you know that? What Jesus said to you guys? Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one come to the Father but by me. Only through Jesus you can go to heaven. God never gave us any other name to be saved. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. For God so loved the world, He gave us one and only Son, Jesus. Whoever believes in Him shall not perish. You have eternal life. Now is the time. Open your heart. Receive Jesus. Repent your sins for the kingdom of this ten. I was preaching like this. Me. The first time in my life, my back sweat. Why? Why my back was a sweat? Because I'm uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Do you understand? If you're uncomfortable, sometimes you're back. I never sweat when I'm preaching. First time in my life. And then, you know what kind of feeling? I'm the one, everybody is relaxed. I, I'm the one bring the cold water and pour out all the people. <laughs> that, kind of a, that kind of a reaction. I, I was a little bit sorry for them actually. Yeah. But I just obey what Jesus said to me and I just obey. Everybody uncomfortable. I'm the most uncomfortable person at the time. And then when I finish it, I say, Jesus, yeah, I just obey. <laughs> <laughs> I deny myself. I deny my knowledge and my feeling and my will. I sit down, I sit on the corridor, and do you know what I did? I closed my eyes because I was uncomfortable. I don't want to see anybody. I closed my eyes. I was praying. And I remember two things I was praying. Three minutes later, somebody touched on my shoulder. I didn't open my eyes. And open my eyes. Guess who is the one? Captain. Captain Ken. And you say, Excuse me, sir. You go against the regulation and uh, rules. Act, Act uh, 1982. Do not speak. In the, do not preach. Do not preach. I do not distribute the leaflet. Yeah. Without the permission, you guys, you did. You against the law. I didn't know. Do you know? I, I almost opened my mouth. I said to him, I didn't want to do it. My Lord Jesus asked me to do. If I speak like this, what's going to happen? Yeah. I become more crazy. Yeah. And then I say to the captain, I'm so sorry I didn't know that. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. The captain is so angry. So angry. I said, you know, I, I, I almost opened my mouth. You know, I didn't want to do it. But my Lord Jesus asked me to do it. If I speak like this, I become more, more crazy. More crazy. Yeah. I kept quiet. I'm so sorry. I said, couldn't I'm so sorry. Kept an angry in the beginning and he said to me, okay, I forgive you this time. Never do it again. I said, yes, I never do it. 
Since that Jesus never asked him again. <laughs> Praise God. You know what happened? I closed my eyes again and pray. I did pray. Another two minutes later, somebody touched me again. Uncomfortable. Open my eyes. You know what is that? English tall man, over six and a half. Very tall man. And I touched my uh, shoulder. When I look at him, his eyes are red color, wet. Crying. He's crying. And then, do you know what he said? I used to be a Christian. But I am bachelor. I am lost a shit. When you preach the gospel, my heart is burning. And then I repent to my sin. Can you pray for me? He's a big man. He kneeled down beside me. Huh? I was crying. When I touched him my hand, I remember my use my hand touch his head, he was crying. I realized that why Jesus asked me to preach because of him. One soul, one soul. You know, one soul is more precious than all this universe. In the beginning I didn't know. But when I deny my knowledge, my emotion, my will, God saved one soul. You know, don't try to understand. If you try to understand, do you think it's possible to obey? No. no. Obey first, and then you'll understand. Let's say again, obey first, and then you'll understand later. Yeah. Last Sunday, two days ago, two, co two, two family to come to our church to have water baptism, but they didn't come. And after this, I came passing by that house and pray for that, that family. But do you, do you understand that? Yeah. They, they need to obey. Sure, if they obey, their life will what? Easy. Eat and prosper. But they don't listen. You know, my job, share the word of the Lord. I share the word of God. If you deny yourself, deny your knowledge, your emotion, and your will, you will see the miracles of God. Can you say amen? amen. You will see the miracles of God, brother. If you deny yourself. Well, then you come to my life. Let's pray. Can, can you can you touch your heart? I can pray for you now. If you want to deny yourself, deny your knowledge, your emotion, and your will, and you want to see the miracles of God in your life, you can touch your heart. The Heavenly Father, as Peter said, because you say so, I obey. And he saw the miracles of God. Because you say so, we just obey. Well, we deny ourselves, deny our knowledge and emotion and will. And you can see the miracles of the Lord in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Give a big love, people of Jesus. A big love, people of Jesus. Thank you.